Hello and welcome back to Tungsten and Tales and A Week in Darts, episode 2. And it's been another very busy week in the world of darts over in the PDC and of course in the WDF as well with the Antwerp Open and everything going on over in Australia. We're going to get to that in a bit, all the news from the WDF, but we'll start with the PDC Pro Tour. Three more winners on the Players' Championship events for the season, those being Nathan Aspinall after a positive run at the Betfred World Match Play. He's now got a Pro Tour title under his belt. Joining him, Keegan Brown, a man that was very much in danger of losing his tour card and may still well be, but he's he's shifted himself up the rankings, £10,000 um, on his total, on the order of merit, and that does him a huge amount of good. And not just for confidence, but his game and the positioning on the order of merit is so crucial. And for a player like Keegan Brown to go and do that, it's a, it's a huge achievement from where he's come to where he is now. Uh, and on the final day, the Friday, it was Rob Cross's turn to take the title. Seems good form from Rob Cross. He's one of those one of those players that's really dipped in and out of, of good and bad form. But we know the A game is there for Rob Cross, much like it is for Nathan Aspinall. And if they can find that at the right moment, they are two players, along with Keegan Brown, that are very, very capable of winning PDC titles. Right then, uh, now the WDF news. As I said earlier, plenty going on in the world of WDF darts. And we'll start over in Belgium with the Antwerp Open, women's and men's events there. Uh, Aleta Vaja, I'm sorry if I've butchered that name, she was the winner in the ladies event with Jamie Lewis coming through in the men's tournament. Jamie Lewis, obviously a former PDC World Championship semi-finalist, represented Wales at the World Cup, um, was really looking like he was going to become the next big star. So glad to see him find some form again and winning tournaments can only do good. Much like I said for Keegan Brown, it's exactly the same story for Jamie Lewis and and winning breeds confidence. Elsewhere in Belgium, uh, on the the Sunday in the Belgium Open, it was Laura Turner defeating Lorraine Wynne Stanley in the women's final. And then Wesley Plazier was the victor in the men's event. Over in Australia, there was victory for Bo Greaves in the Australian Open. Uh, she was joined by Raymond Smith, a man that we saw at this year's World Championship at Alexandra Palace, produced some some real shocks in that tournament and threw some excellent darts. He's got another win under his belt and maybe, maybe we'll see him at the WDF World Championships next year. Uh, and in the Pacific Masters, we were treated to wins from Lisa Ashton. Good to see her finding some form after a tough time at the Women's World Match Play. Um, we didn't see the best of Lisa there, but good to see she's getting some form back. And the reigning WDF World Champion, Neil Duff, got a win as well. So a very, very busy week on the WDF circuit. Eight different winners and those three Pro Tour winners as well. I'll be back next week to cover what we've got coming up. Obviously, we've got World Series is going to be taking up the majority of the next few weeks over in over in Australia. And then we've got the World Series finals. All the names are confirmed for that now, I believe. And yeah, thank you very much for joining me. I'll see you next week.